We first met in 1997. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll try something else. In a way, King Corn emerged um, out of our college experience because we realized in college it was very difficult to learn much about where our food came from. You certainly couldn't take a class on it, and there was only so much we could learn from the from the campus. So we decided to just move to Iowa to see for ourselves where most of our food was coming from by growing an acre of corn, which it turns out is in almost everything Americans eat every day. Ian and I have always tried to merge documentary and advocacy in our work. It's never felt like quite enough to just tell a story. Uh, we want people to take some action after they do it. We want to see our movies on the screen translate into action on the ground. So everything we've done has always been about trying to, to, to make a film and tell a story, but then give people somewhere to go with that energy. So with, with King Corn, we worked hard not just to tell the story of where food comes from, but to then get people motivated to take action around the farm bill. And with uh, Big River, we wanted people to, to become aware of how important conservation is in agriculture. With Truck Farm, it's been about uh, getting kids connected to where healthy food comes from. We quickly noticed that the truck farm was a magnet for kids, and it, it inspired kids to think about where they could grow food. So we started a contest, the Truck Farm Garden Contest, where kids would plant food in the most creative places they could think of. We started getting photographs from kids of gardens planted in tennis balls and printers and boots and helmets. And um, that really showed us that though these aren't necessarily the farms of the future, these might be the farmers of the future. And that first creative act of planting a seed might then lead to careers in food and agriculture, and rethinking the way kids eat. And the same thing with Food Corps. It's about uh, helping young leaders see that they have the power to, to make big change possible in the food system. And our goal is really to make Food Corps a major national presence. There are so many communities that need help connecting to healthy food right now, and schools are clearly the place to start. 31 million kids get more than half their calories from school lunch and school breakfast and after school snack. So if we can change what kids are eating in school and if we can help them understand where food comes from and grow and cook a little bit of it themselves, I think we can change something much bigger. Neither Kurt nor I grew up dreaming of becoming a filmmaker. Um, but it became clear uh, while making King Corn that good storytelling is such a powerful way to bring more people into the conversation about the way we relate to the planet and the way we relate to each other. It can often be easier to ask your friend to come see a film with you than it is to ask them to come see a, a lecture with you. Um, and I think there's something about using, using humor and using storytelling as a way to broaden the conversation and bring more people into the discussion that is really critical. Um, and so um, we're certainly committed to continue using films as a way to help heal our relationship to the, to the environment, which has been so ruptured over the last century or so.